Sometimes I feel like Indiana Jones trying to find the perfect webcam and I've been through so many of them. This is an updated video because everything I've spoken about before, I'm now not going to use them and I'm going to use something completely different but I didn't think I would go for, but I am quite impressed by it. Now, my history of webcams stretching out almost a year and a half now is that I first started with a Nexigo, then I went on to a Depstech, then I tried a Logitech Brio, then I went to an Elgato, El Elgato Facecam, let me get the words right, and then from January 2022 until October 2022, I was using the Reincubate Camo. Now, Reincubate Camo, you've got to pay for monthly or lifetime, and it allows you to get full 1080p from your phone. The problem I had with it, and I have heard on the grapevine that they are going to improve it, and I'm looking forward to that, is that even though my camera was set to 4K on the iPhone, you know, you connect via a cable. You can do it wirelessly, but I was using a cable to be extra sure. Even though you got 4K set up, you only get 1080p. It's capped at 1080p. And that was always a little bit frustrating because I want to get the best quality audio and visuals and everything like that. And then Apple, about a week ago, introduced a continuity camera. And I tried it out. But here's the problem with the continuity camera. It is so easy to use, like it just connects. You don't even have to use a wire. I still like to use the wire because I just want to have good connectivity. But again, the big problem with continuity camera by Apple is that it's capped at 1080p. What's going on here, everyone? you got a 4K camera, brilliant lens and light and everything like that. Apertures, you know, we keep hearing about them. But when we want to then stream it because we want to use it as a webcam, we're capped at 1080p. Something is seriously wrong there. I even went into an Apple store like two days after Ventura came out and the continuity camera and I asked a couple of their staff there and they were like, what's continuity camera? Like brain explosion, like what am I doing here? Anyway, for two weeks though, I was using the Insta360 link. Now the Insta360 link at that point in time, I did consider it to probably be the best webcam out there. And in all honesty, I probably still think it is the best webcam out there. If you really want a quality one that can track you, um, that has loads of settings as well, um, that allows you to do amazing desk view. Look, I'm telling you now, the desk view on the continuity camera is rubbish, all right? Seriously lacking and distorts everything. It ain't worth using, I'm telling you now. The Insta360 Link, though, their desktop cam was top notch. However, here's the reason why I've now decided to return it. And by the way, I've done the same with nearly every other webcam I've had, okay, is that because I got it from Amazon and I'd only had it for two weeks, I could return it and get a refund. And the reason I'm getting a refund is because it cost £320. The Insta360 link, you could argue, is it worth it? And I would probably say, yeah, it's worth it. But at the same time, it is £320. So what am I going to use now? Well, there's an app on the App Store for the iPhone, okay, that you can go away and look at, okay, and you can, by the way, use this on a Mac or a Windows machine as well, okay, but if you go to your App Store, search for Shoot Pro Webcam, there you go, it's on screen, search for that, Shoot Pro Webcam, and this is what you'll find, the Shoot app, you can't miss it, it's the one with the camera lens, okay, um, and once you install it, uh, pretty much away you go. I mean, it is really, really good, okay? Now then, is there a cost attached to this? Yes, there is. But there's different price plans, and I have found the basic one, which is $8.99, £9, one-off payment. You don't pay monthly, you don't pay annually, it's just a one-off lifetime payment. It is the basic, but here's the reason why I like it. If my camera setting for my iPhone, okay? By the way, this is my iPhone, okay? And I'll tell you what I'm using in the moment is set to 4K, I'm getting full 4K coming through the lens. And when I connect up to OBS, it is showing full 4K. If I put the continuity, sorry, let me backtrack. If I do the Insta360 link, I got 4K, but it was 320 pounds. If I did the Apple continuity camera, I only get 1080p. If I do the reincubate camo, I only get 1080p. Can you see the problem here? And when you have other webcams out there, like Logitech and all these other, they go, yeah, 4K camera. I'm going to tell you now, they are not proper 4K. It feels like 1080p with a 
tiny bit of upscaling, if that. It's no better than standard 1080p. This shoe tap, okay, is giving me full 4K. And let me now tell you now, this is my wife's iPhone, my old, her old iPhone that she no longer uses. It's only an iPhone XR. It's not even an 11, 12, 13, 14 Pro. Just a standard XR, okay, using the reverse camera with the shoe tap. This is what I've been recording throughout this entire video. If you look here with my phone, I've got it on here just so I can show you uh, the rear view camera and you can flip it to the front view as well. And there are lots of settings on here, ISO, zoom, things like that, brightness as well. And here's just some, and here's just some more of the settings that you will have. I mean, to be honest, right, just type in Shoot Pro on your Google, wherever, okay, and go and have a look at their website. They've got loads more extra information. But what I'm trying to get across is, I'm going to save myself £320 with the Insta360 link. I'm not going to use the continuity camera because it's capped at 1080p. You know, I might as well just carry on using my reincubate camo because my reincubate camo gave me loads more settings and features than the continuity camera. If you're really bothered about the face tracking and all of that, okay, I get it, but it's a bit slow. You know, it's a bit of a lag and a delay in how it works on the continuity camera. I love Apple products, but I'm going to tell you now, their continuity camera needs improvement, okay? So go and improve it, Apple. Reincubate camo, I think pretty soon at some point, they are going to roll out 4K, and I probably will go back to them. I don't know, but right now... I have to say, I'm quite impressed by the 4K quality and some of the settings with the shoe tap. It's, this is not a sponsored or an affiliate video, by the way. Came across it, played around, asked a few questions to their developer, Michael. He answered very, very responsive on Twitter and everything like that. And it works. It just works pretty well. And I'm happy so far that I've got something where I'm using my camera or my wife's camera, her old phone, by the way, and I can get my full 4K. Um, it might not matter to a lot of you. A lot of you can say, well, hey, I'm fine with 1080p. What's the big problem? Let me tell you now, when you're watching a video on your phone, 720p is absolutely fine. 1080p is sometimes overkill on a phone. When you're looking at it on a laptop or a MacBook or something, 1080p is fine. But the minute you move to like an ultra wide screen or a screen that's say 25, 26 inches, 1080p does start to look a little bit you know, pixelated, just a tiny bit. And that's where the 4K quality can make a difference. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and go and check out the shoe tap. I quite like it. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bat.